Hey everybody, we're back in the woods searching for World War II relics, this time with Nino, one of my patrons, <laughs> and uh, Renee back there. Uh, Nino took us to uh, a place where during the war V2 rockets were made, the famous V2 rockets, pretty much Hitler's idea of a, of a futuristic weapon, which it basically was, because let, let's, let's face it, it's still used Till this day, the, the the foundation they set for that, the the long range ballistic missile, liquid propellant missile, they still do use that nowadays. Unfortunately, also on the Ukraine war, you get lots of examples of that. Anyway, um, we're here, um, just checking it out, and uh, as you can see, the remains are right there. I'm not sure what these are. These probably uh, some some bunkers, yeah. Um, the factory itself was a bit further, and uh, Dina's trying to get permission for that. But uh, we can metal detect here a bit. To be honest, it's uh, quite late in the day already, and uh, we've been de metal detecting some some Roman fields just uh, this morning until now and uh, decided to come here and check it out for a couple of hours. Uh, it was on the way. Anyway, as you see there, there's some, uh, some signs as well, like trenches or um, foundations. And It's hard to see on camera, but there's also there, behind the tree, all the way there, where Nino is, start, where Nino is starts the, the trench. And uh, where Rene is, it, it all, it's much further. If you can see in the distance, it's all um, basically the same Im image as you see here. Uh, let's just see what we find here. Very interesting place. We just found our first bomb. And, uh, this is not fired. It was just left behind here, so uh, although dangerous, it's less dangerous than a, than a dirt, a fired one. Uh, but it was just laying out on the surface, um, so uh, we're gonna just rebury it. Yeah, rebury it deep and just report it to uh, to the owner and let him decide what to do with it. Um, yeah, we're we'll probably gonna find some more of those here. We just we just came across these uh, large foundations. So this was a big, big, big place and. Um, when they uh, found some casings and, and, and rounds over there. Um, yeah, this place is full of activity. Uh, this scene, uh, it's seen his war days here. And, uh, this place is just littered with bunkers and positions. As you would expect, uh, to protect the factory, they of course had a lot of anti-aircraft positions. The huge Flak 88 guns, and uh, maybe there was even one position right here. And if you can see that, that this is just a huge pit, and uh, that could simply be one of the anti-aircraft positions. And there are signals everywhere here. Of course, a lot of trash, a lot of casings, a lot of iron objects, but yeah, it's uh, hard to get through all the <laughs> hard to get through all the rubble, I would say. But it's also hard to get through uh, the woods and, uh, and the soil here with uh, with all the roots. I just put up my uh, shot of my camera and then uh, I said, hey, <laughs> show the people uh, what I found. And yeah, it's a nice clip. You should take the clip at least. Yeah, of course. These clips are always nice to find. The K98 clips. So yeah, that's a good sign, man. Yeah. Now for a medal. 
<laughs> and underneath the round it says 1938. Metal detecting here is hard, so uh, just picking up the, the good signals. And I just found this and I recognize this as the part of the detonator of the German potato masher, the steel grenade. This is the inside, the detonator. And the grenade found something nice as well. What's that? I think it's the top of a grenade. Yeah, top of the grenade. Or a rocket. It's the top of a V2 rocket grenade. <laughs> a miniature one. Well done. That's nice. So yeah, signals are here, but it's very hard to, to, to pinpoint the good ones and uh, leave the bad ones, but you know, we're trying hard to uh, come up with something for you to show. Just found this big bottom uh, of a casing, a big casing. Probably uh, something that was uh, fired from uh, this big hole over here. And uh, when the allied forces came in here, it just simply blew everything up, including uh, the ammunition. Now that I see it, I think there are some more foundations there, so we're gonna check that out. Concrete bunkers or something. But we'll go to, towards that way and uh, see what it is. Well, it's getting late, I'm kind of getting low on energy right now, but. Uh, so far we've been digging up um, shrapnel casings and, you know, I'm not going to show you everything. Um, but I was just walking around seeing if I can explore a bit. Walk around this area. And, uh, yeah, as you can see there are some huge foundations here. And you can tell, you know, it's been lifted, it's been blown up. And that's why uh, we find a lot of damaged things like damaged casings and bits of uh, of things but we'll uh, we'll keep on going and uh, we'll probably come back tomorrow when we're all refreshed but uh, I'll try to do a bit of detecting just just picking up the high signals and uh, if we uh, if we come across something today I'll uh, I'll show you and if not uh, I'll see you in the morning Hey, so we came back um, the next day and uh, while we were just setting up our stuff, all this guy, this guy comes along called Michael and he's from Poland and he brought a metal detector as well. He was just here, um, we just met up here, um, didn't plan this at all, I just encountered him. I'll, uh, I'll introduce him in a second, he's, uh, he's way there. Um, meanwhile, uh, I was setting up my gear and uh, at this uh, very large foxhole, as you can see here. So I decided to uh, start out with that and uh, see what we can find here. At the V2 rocket base, the rocket factory. But uh, again, such a nice surprise to uh, meet with, with a fellow digger. And uh, he doesn't mind being on camera, so uh, you're gonna get a shot of him uh, soon. René found something good, um, part of a ammo box with some writing on there. Let me just point you in the sun right here. Wow, René, good find. Nice. There's also a lot of uh, big um, artillery grenades on the ground here, not shot, not, sh not fired off, so um, this makes sense. I'm gonna find this here too. But a good find, Rene. So someone was fed up with this uh, mother-in-law. Hey, it's my, not my fault, I'm just showing you, okay? Don't get mad at me, I didn't do this. See? Well, I just put her back, you know? Um, before anyone blames me for it. The next find is this weird looking thing. There was this piece of plastic of Bakelite stuck to it. Oh, and Renee behind me uh, dug out a, a signal that. Oh, yeah, we don't want to find. I'm gonna find those a lot here, unfortunately. 
Um, yeah, this is more interesting in my opinion. Not sure what this is, but it's nice looking and we're gonna bring it. Just found this, unfortunately not in one piece anymore, but still a nice find because it's nicely marked. As you can see, has some beautiful numbers and dates on there. 7.5 centimeters, German. German just stamped everything. And which is good for us, so you can see all the dates and beautiful numbers. Yeah, that's good. Just focus on that for you. There you go. And they called me over because he found something interesting. He's been uh, finding all these clips and we're a bit puzzled by them. I think they're, um, I don't know, these are not German. Uh, a lot of clips here. What the German used to call Beutewaffen. Like the confiscated weapons, they used that uh, a lot during the war because simply they had enough, didn't have enough hey, ammunition. Look at, look at this mark. Nice. Loads of them. But why just the clips? That's, that's weird. I think we struck uh, this piece of the factory, we struck like a, an ammunition storage yes, or something. Sure. Because, uh, yeah. We have found a lot of these. Uh, we found a lot of ammunition here. No one wants yeah. so many. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take a few just because uh, I've never found them before. Yeah, there's more here. Even. Yeah. I'll ask uh, our new uh, friend, Michael. Um, he seems to Jeez. know his uh, ammunition. So many. He's, he's been doing this for many years. Um, You just blew your nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both suffer a bit from uh, hay fever, <laughs> but uh, so far I've been doing good. By the way, Jesus, that's actually some some wood there too. I saw that in the corner of my eye. I think it must be a. <laughs> it's not more. Yeah, there's more coming out. It's, I can feel loads of money just. Stick the camera in there so the deer people can see. Not sure if we have to dig out this hole, but let's just go at it for like five minutes or so. Maybe we come across something good underneath, like a box of medals or something. I was just corrected by uh, Michael, who's right there. Uh, do you have to uh, Instagram or that was? No, uh, no, 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 what's up? What's up? Oh, okay, but for the for the shoe show, I'm to see what? to follow. Uh, no, okay. No, no, no. Just no. ask him if he has an Instagram page, <laughs> but he doesn't. You know, he's just like, what? No, I don't have that. Anyway, he knows a lot about um, ammunition. And uh, he pointed out that uh, the, the big casing I just found with the numbers on it is not German, it's Hungarian. Um, we find a lot of um, Beutewaffen here, like the confiscated weapons the Germans used. Um, hence the clip we just found. And uh, those were used by uh, World War I Austrian rifles. 
that the Germans used in World War II as well, because they needed to. Um, anyway, I just wanted to correct myself on that. You see, Mike doesn't know his ammunition uh, very well. But hey, you can't know everything, right? Anyway, I'm just sitting here hanging out and uh, having a good time. And uh, as soon as uh, Michael uh, finishes his cigarette, then uh, we'll carry on. <laughs> well, just walking through the woods as we do. And this is the last one I'm going to show you. See, just at the surface. Man, this thing is big. Okay, last one. I'm not going to show you any more bombs from now on, I promise. Just found this little roo deer's antler on the surface. It's nice, I was like finding these. Not sure, to be honest, if I'm um, allowed to bring it since I'm in Austria. I don't know how the laws work there with uh, these antlers, but uh, I'll check uh, it with my friend here and uh, see if I'm allowed to bring this or not. But uh, still, nice find. More foundations of bunkers. I think this is a, like a bunker. Maybe they fired off the V2 rocket somewhere there. And you know, this was the place that they uh, could shelter. Um, let me just uh, show you a bit. Nice, huh? I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but let me just stick you in there. Maybe you can see a bit more than I can. That was it from us. Hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this location. Um, I did. It was uh, like a magical place here. Uh, lots of bunkers and, and remains from uh, back in the days. And let's face it, that's where war belongs, right? Underneath the soil or in museums. Um, thank, you so very, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you, my dear patrons. Your names are right here. And if there's not enough space, it's here too. If you wanna become a patron, uh, go check out the, the website. It's, uh, it's, it's down there and somewhere up here. Again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe if you haven't, because we uh, we are to, we're close to the seventy-five thousand, and uh, we need to reach that right. So subscribe if you haven't already. Again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys.